Hi, I'm going to do a quick video on a no heat call that I did. Uh, I'm Scott and I'm a handyman that does pro bono work for for homeowners who can't otherwise afford uh, to get certain handyman uh, or home maintenance services done for them. This is one where it was a no heat call. Actually, it was a couple of them. I met this client uh, uh, last year. They had no heat. It was a boiler, an old crown boiler. They have a kind of a cellar, an old house with a cellar, uh, unfinished basement, and this old boiler there. Um, they have a problem where their sewer line backs up, and um, it's a, extremely expensive to repair, and so they can't do it. So therefore, the cellar is very damp, and uh, which you'll see in, a, in, in these pictures. Um, last year, they called me, and they just needed help getting the pilot lit. Well, it turns out it wasn't just a pilot. The spill switch on the boiler was broken and open. And so what I did was I got the pilot lit and I put a screwdriver across the spill switch and got the gas uh, turned on. And so they went all year and had heat. Well, they called me back again this fall um, complaining that the, uh, the boiler was out again. So I thought I would just go back there and do the same thing. But this time, I could not get the gas valve to work. So um, we, I decided that what I need to do is replace the gas valve. So this is the job that I'm taking you to. Okay, here's the boiler unit. Here's the spill switch that I'm going to replace. Got a new one right here. So broken spill switch. There's the gas valve. It shorts out every time I put 24 volts to it. So that's gonna be replaced. There's the new one. I'm gonna do a, re remove all this gas piping to a flexible line. So this is gonna change. I'm gonna put a T and a drip leg and then a flexible line to the gas valve. So where the, that union is, that's gonna be replaced and then everything down there is gonna be uh, replaced. Here's the old crown boiler. Hopefully the control panel right there is working. I already know and I oiled, I oiled this, the circulator motor last time I was here. I also fixed some wiring problems on the vent controls and other various wiring that I had to fix and clean up. So, wish me luck. We have new gas line. So I turned the gas valve back on. Sprayed soapy bubbles. I checked for leaks. So here's where all the new piping starts. We go three quarter down a half inch. I don't know why they need three quarter. It's less than a 75,000 BTU unit. So re new reducer, half inch nipple, uh, elbow, another nipple to a T to a drip leg, and then to a uh, flexible gas line that's designed for furnaces. It can handle up to over, uh, up to 125,000 BTU. So that's, I bought a four foot line, and that way we don't have to have a union or anything like that. We can just go right into the valve. Got the power on, the recirculator pumps on. Um, the spill, new spill switch is installed. Um, again, I've got the manometer hooked up. Uh, it's on pilot right now. The pilot light is still going strong, so we're good there. I've removed the cap off the adjust, the outlet adjustment, and uh, we're um, ready to go. I verified there's 24 volts on the TR to TX right here, 24 volts, and I'm going to set it to run. I'm going to stand back. Let's see what we got here. Just in case there's flame roll out. Oh, Houston, we have ignition. We have ignition. Oh, beautiful. And our gas pressure is pretty darn close to where we need it. It's right on three, just about three and a half. So I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. 
awesome. And we do have, I mean, it's hard to see because this furnace is set so low, but we got good ignition. I cleaned off the burners as well. <sighs> Crown boiler, you are back up and running. There it is. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't really do a full description of all of the work I did, how I did the piping or anything like that, but uh, there's lots of other YouTubers out there. One of my favorites is Steve Lavium there, who uh, I got that quote, Houston, we have ignition. He does plumbing and HVAC and does work logs and shows you exactly what to do. So he's a great resource to have. But my, I'm just more just documenting kind of some interesting jobs I had so people can get something out of it. Uh, that was pretty much it. The only other things I did at that uh, was just clean up. Uh, obviously, it was a complete mess. I just cleaned up everything and checked for carbon monoxide levels. And then that was a wrap. Uh, if you have any questions about the tools or, or techniques or, or products that were used, just uh, let me know. Just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.